All right, Shalom. First off, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua, by Hashem Rakak with us. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is said, Shalom, to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay? Title of this lesson is Marking Concubines and Wives or Possessions for the Kingdom. Okay, because um, one of the, the reasons why I wanted to do this video is because some while ago, you know, somebody had asked me, you know, um, hey, do you believe that um, that the Lord is going to give us, you know, the women that we uh, marked, you know, um, is is wives or or as possessions for the um kingdom, and um, I told him, yeah, you know. Like yeah, and um, I just wanted to get some uh, scriptures, okay, on that about the the whole mark marking uh, concubines and uh, uh, wives or um, basically uh, akazayim, okay, which is uh, possessions, okay, for the kingdom. Now this is the first scripture, Hebrews eleven and one. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for. <laughs> and when, that's one of the things when you come into this truth about, you know, having a hope. It says the, the evidence of things not seen. So if you say, hey, you know, a, a woman, you see a, a, a nice fine woman, you know, hey, you can mark, mark that woman, you know. As See, I don't, I don't mark women that you know. If I see them with with a man, or whatever, you know, I don't, I don't do that. You know, that that's just me though. But the thing is that you you can mark mark women, man. You know, and and just have faith that the Lord the Lord going to give you them. Now, you know these women right now, and they not in their right minds. You know. But you might you might see a, a decent woman, you know what I'm saying? And you might be like, yo, hey, hey in the kingdom, I'm, I'm gonna take that man, you know? And and you have every right to to do that. Why? Because guess what? Psalms two and eight it says, "Ask of me, and I shall give you the heathen for your inheritance." Which you know that's talking about their lands, okay? But if you want to talk about, you know, just just plain and simple, the heathen for your inheritance, when you when you uh, when we get into the kingdom, you know, because you asked Yahweh Shemiah Shah, okay, for that heathen to be your concubine, that's going to be your inheritance when you get into the kingdom. It says, and the uttermost parts of the earth for your for your possess, possess, possession. Okay. So their lands and everything that these devils got, especially especially these Rothschilds and you know the, the the banking families, everything that they got is ours, man. Anyway, you know, everything the, the scriptures talk about the earth was made for our sake. Okay, all of the uh, the the natural products. That's that's us. That's ours, man. Okay. It says, uh, thou shalt rule them with a rod of iron, thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's, potter's vessel. This this is part of the faith, man. Okay? And this is this is gonna come this is gonna happen, man. Okay, you gotta believe this. It says, Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings. You gotta have that king mentality. When a king says he wants something, he he, he gets it, right? If it's in righteousness, okay, especially you know by by us being in the truth, we're we're in righteousness anyway, okay. It says, "Be instructed, you judges of the earth." John fifteen and sixteen, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain. And that whatsoever you shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you or give it you. Okay? 
So when we ask for or you know for these concubines or possessions, okay, in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahushah, okay, by Hashem Rakak with us, you know the the Lord is going to give it to us. See, I already marked a, a whole um, fake Jewish camp, man. Okay, with 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 with, with women and and stuff like that. They was all up in there, you know, doing some like type of. Uh, summer camp or whatever and i just you know i had to um basically work for them or whatever and i just was like man fuck that man all these all these motherfuckers are gonna be my slaves man in the kingdom and guess what in the, the, the same way how they had auction and blocks and stuff like that okay <laughs> lord willing i'm gonna have an auction and block you know for for the whole jewish uh sect man okay um Continuing on, Isaiah 55 and 10. For as the rain comes down and the snow from heaven and returns not there, but waters the earth and makes it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater, right? When when a, when a, a farmer, when he wants to plant something, right, he know what seed to go get, right? And, and, and guess what? That seed brings brings forth whatever fruit that that farmer planted okay and that's what we doing man when we marking marking concubines you know that's that's planting a seed man okay it says so shall my word be be that goes forth out of my mouth it is it shall not return unto me void but it shall accomplish that which i please and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. It says, For you shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace. And that word joy, you know, keep that in mind, right? It says, The mountains and the hills shall break forth before you into singing, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Instead of the thorns shall come up the fir tree, and instead of the briar shall come up the myrtle tree, and it shall be the it shall be to the Lord for an, for a name, for an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. Okay, and and you know in the kingdom it's gonna be beautiful, man. So you might not be able to get you know the woman on on this side, especially a woman that you may want. But guess what? That woman that that you want that's gonna be yours in the kingdom, man. Okay, the kingdom is is, is for us to enjoy. Okay. Uh, Matthew 21 and 22 it says and all things all things whatsoever you shall ask in prayer believing you shall receive okay continuing on okay this is John 16 and 23 and in that day you shall ask me nothing verily verily I say unto you Whatsoever you shall ask the Father in my name, he will give it you. Hitherto have you asked nothing in my name, asking you shall receive, that your joy may be full. Okay? And that goes again, for you shall go out with joy. So whatever you ask, you shall receive, that your joy may be full. And, and guess what? Yahweh Basim Yahushah, he made you. So he knows what type of spirit you have and, and what fits you. Okay? And what fits you, hey, the Lord, the Lord always sends an example, okay? You may see that, that, that woman that walked by, okay? Or, or, or you just may meet, which, if, you know, you might be able to get it right now. But like I said, we're not in the time of, you know, actually uh, going out and, and trying to, to, to multiply our wives right now, you know? We out to, to, to push this work, you know? And 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 basically get get this truth out, man. Okay. And it's just fun because hey, we in, we enjoy looking and 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 um. Hey, you got you got some beautiful women out there, but these women ain't in their right minds, you know. But like I said, the Lord knows what what uh what what you like, man. Okay. And sometimes he may he may send something your way. 
okay just so you can can see like yeah you know this this what i got set up for you man okay and it may be a woman that 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 you may be like god dang like you know this woman woman bad you know but then but get then guess what you know things fall out you know because it's it's meant to to for us to fail on this side but guess guess what that woman you know could very well end up being your woman in the kingdom you know in her right mind because these women got the, the the power to do whatever they want to right now it says these things have i spoken unto you in proverbs but the time comes when i shall no more speak unto you in proverbs but i will show you plainly of the father at that day you shall ask in my name and i say not unto you that i will pray the father for you for the father himself loves you because you have loved me and have believed that i am come out of your out of your house you know so just because you believe in his word you think that the lord ain't gonna you know look out for you man you know so yeah if, the, if you you mark a woman that you got there going right that, that that's you're gonna get that woman in the kingdom okay and you gotta believe that that's that's a part of the faith man that's a part of the faith that that we're gonna have slaves in the kingdom okay that we're gonna um uh have multiple wives okay concubines of course but um that's a part of the faith that we're gonna have a, a lot of children you know a lot of lands just be be uh you know rich have have money you know not this bullshit money that we you know people have but just have everlasting life the blessings you know knowing what real food tastes like that's a part of the faith man okay real real uh family okay the blessings go on and on man so far beyond what we can comprehend and it's all towards what you what your personal joy is man so what makes you happy might be different from what another what makes another person happy man okay but that that that's going to be when the lord blesses you that's going to be for you man okay it says i came forth from the father and came and come into the world again i leave the world and go to the father and his disciples said unto him lo now thou now speakest thou plainly and speakest no proverb now are we sure that thou knowest all things and needest not that any man should ask you by this we believe that thou camest forth from yahweh by some or yahweh you know so so when you speak plainly to people and you don't speak in a proverb you know now they want to all of a sudden believe it but hey it's, you know you don't gotta believe you know the lord the lord is basically the, the lord you know this is the truth man okay and and being in this truth is is about faith man okay you don't have to to to, to see it plainly you know for for it to 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 um to be made manifest onto you you know for it to, to be the truth just because you see okay now all of a sudden you know i, I got all the women that are marked right now because if that if, if that was the case then what's the point in waiting for it in the kingdom you know so you know with that man you know uh yeah we're going to get get you know everything that we mark you know in 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 the kingdom man okay if that's the lord's will okay but we hope that we 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 are able to get to the kingdom in the first place you know and i had another point that i wanted to make but you know it, it escaped me you know it probably come back to me some other time man you know but with that I want to uh, say uh, Salawam.